Hi, I'm Courtney at womenlivingwell.org, home of Good Morning Girls, and we are reading through the Bible cover to cover, just one chapter a day. There's no sign-ups, no enrollment. Just join us anytime. It's flexible. You can step out. You can step back in. But if you stick with me, I will take you all the way through the Bible, guaranteed. So here we are, we're in the book of Genesis, and we're in Genesis 6, and we're looking at Noah, and it is said of Noah that Noah walked with God. That's what Genesis 6, 9 says about him. Now in Genesis 5, we find this man named Enoch who also walked with God. And if you're familiar with this story, then you know that Enoch walked with God, and God so loved his walk that God plucked him off of earth and took him to heaven. So now we have in chapter 6, Noah, who's walking with God, and God doesn't pluck him off of earth, Oh no, he gives him this massive assignment to build an ark. Oh my word. The first lesson I see just right there is that we can have two women walking with God and God gives us different callings. Some of us he may bless. It's a huge blessing that Enoch got to go right to heaven and didn't have to live here on earth his entire life. But then we see that Noah was given this assignment that surely was a trial and a hardship. But Noah, because he walked with God, could handle this. He was a man of faith. When we look in Hebrews 11, we find Enoch in the hall of faith, and we also find Noah. Both of them praised because of their faith. We also find, though, in Matthew 25, some words about Noah's time. You see, Noah lived counterculturally, and he went against the grain and against culture. And it says that no one knows about, oh, Jesus is speaking. I forgot to mention that. And these are red letter words in scripture. And it's talking about when, um, that when Jesus returns, it'll be like the times of Noah. And it says, for in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. You see, Jesus is talking and he says, I'm coming back. I'm going to return for you. But I want you to know that you all, that the, the people in the world are not going to be watching for me. They're going to be eating their, you know, Chick-fil-A and drinking their lattes and, and marrying and, you know, getting into their sports and, and going to college. And we're going to be doing our own things. But when Jesus returns, it's going to come like a thief in the night. He is coming for us. Are we watching? Because Noah was walking with God. He knew that God was coming and he knew what God was going to do and that is the type of women that we want to be. I attended uh, the Moody Bible Institute and sometimes I'm kind of embarrassed to tell people the college I went to because I'm like does the word moody make people think that I'm like a girl who has like mood swings you know and then the word institute sounds like I was an institution so all of that is really neither here nor there or relevant to this video just had to offer that. But anyway, so I went to the Moody Bible Institute. If you're familiar with a man named D.L. Moody, he was an amazingly, uh, amazing evangelist that led hundreds of thousands of people to the Lord in a time when there was no radio, no television, no internet. This was a man who walked with God. This was a man who was faithful. This was a man who shared the gospel with everyone he could. He didn't have a high education. He didn't have a, a high school degree, but he was challenged by a man who said, D.L., the world has yet to see what God can do with a man whose heart is completely devoted to him. Moody thought about that statement and he said, by God's grace, I'll be that man. By God's grace, Moody said, I will walk with God and I'll see what God does through that. And that's what I want for you and me. By God's grace, may we walk with God because who knows what God is going to do through us in our families, in our communities, in our churches, in the place where he planned us, in our schools, in our workplaces. What can God do with a woman who's actually walking intimately with him? That is why we want to be in God's word daily. That is why we want to read it cover to cover. God does great things when we walk through him. And sometimes it's blessings. You're not got to go to heaven. Sometimes it's going to be a hard calling that he's going to put on our lives. But you are women of obedience. You are righteous. You will be faithful and you will be brave when that time comes. God will prepare you. So let's keep digging into God's word. Let's keep reading it and walk with the king.